Tonight we have new information about a police chase and fatal accident in Beloit. Investigators have released the name of the victim, 43-year-old Curtis Bayer. He was a passenger in the car. State Highway Patrol says the driver ran a red light and that's when police started chasing him. 27 First News reporter Tyra Latrell has tonight's top story. This is what's left of Brian Whitehurst's car. A seat completely out of the car. The front of the car smashed. The front right tire no longer connects. A scrap heap of metal is the result of a violent crash. The extensive damage is from hitting a tree and a house on 5th Avenue after Whitehurst lost control going around a corner. The crash killed the passenger in his car, 43-year-old Curtis Bauer. It's a tragedy. It uh, resulted in a uh, traffic fatality. Lieutenant Jared Sutton with Ohio State Highway Patrol says this should have never happened. Before the accident, OSP says the driver ran a red light. That started a police chase. Obviously, if you're stopped for infraction, there's a reason for the traffic stop. Um, if there's no reason to take it to another step and uh, attempt to elude the police. The passenger was wearing a seatbelt, but the impact of the crash was so severe, it threw him out the car. OSP says alcohol was a factor in the accident. Whitehurst was impaired while driving. If you're going to drink and drive, to make sure to have a sober driver, and uh, something like this could obviously could have been avoided. Reminder to wear your seatbelts. They do save lives. It is state law. Tyler Trill, WKBN 27 First News.